I'm going to show you two instruments of tyranny. The first is a gun, a symbol of force, violence, and destruction. This is not the best instrument of tyranny. This is the type of thing used by tyrants who are stupid, clumsy, and desperate. When the masses are being controlled by this, they can clearly see they must destroy or escape whoever is pointing this at them. The smart tyrants use the other instrument of tyranny, paper. The paper on which is printed the auto registration you must show, the proof of insurance you must show, the tax form that you must file, the permit or license that you must pay for, the application you must fill out. Whether we realize it or not, we only submit to this because we are being threatened by this. What if we knew they did not have this? Would we do this? I wouldn't. When we do this, we are really reacting to this, tyranny. But just as a gun can be pointed in two directions, paper can be used by all parties. How can you use the power of paper? One way is something called an affidavit. An affidavit seems simple and harmless. It's simply a sworn statement of fact signed by a notary. But a lot more people have been robbed with this than with this. A properly executed affidavit is law until it is rebutted by another affidavit. Suppose you send your mortgage lender an affidavit that says, you just discovered that the loan documents they asked you to sign have misrepresentations, lack of disclosure, or fraud. If you are wrong, you may go to jail for perjury. If you're right, you may get the deed to your house free and clear. An affidavit is a powerful thing. The author of an affidavit can take all the marbles. He can make the rules. In my affidavit, I can say, you hereby agree to pay me $50 a month unless you rebut this affidavit within 30 days. If you make the mistake of tossing that affidavit into your inbox and forgetting about it, 30 days later, you are a slave to me. Under the law, $50 per month of your earnings belongs to me. That's the point of those cryptic notices from your credit card company. These are the new terms of your credit card. The law says that you agree and accept the presented terms unless you respond and refuse to accept. If you respond, you can change those rules all you want. All you have to do is respond. That notice they sent you is not enforcement of their rules. That is an opportunity for you to agree with their rules by remaining silent. Send a notice back saying, you may not charge me any late fees, and I will not pay more than 5% interest on my credit card charges, and those are the terms you must accept if you wish to have me as a credit card customer. If the credit card company does not rebut or cancel your card within your time limit, you are legally entitled to the terms you offer. Your announcements and demands are just as valid as theirs. If your notice is in the form of an affidavit, no judge, court, or officer may deny your claim, and the credit card company may not impose different terms unless you agree to them either by response or by silence. As odd as it seems, it's probably not a good idea to ever sign anything that you did not write yourself. If you write it, it benefits you. If they write it, it benefits them, and it probably costs you in a big way. An affidavit is not a complicated thing. Samples of them are easy to find. There's no particular layout that's required. Basically, it's a sworn statement of true and complete fact with a date and a notarized signature. If it affects another party, it must be presented to that party with a reasonable time for response. Large institutions are very good at sending notices, but they are not very good at reading and responding to notices they receive. That is not your problem. Institutional size and bureaucratic incompetence is not an excuse for anything. Send them the notice and hold them to the terms contained in that notice. If they refuse your terms, change the terms or walk away from the relationship. Just make sure that you always play by your rules, not theirs. That's what the Declaration of Independence is. Our rules, not theirs just as tyranny comes in many forms. Revolutions come in many forms. We can have a nice nonviolent revolution. We can even do it all through the mail if we borrow a trick that institutions use against us. If this is used more effectively, then nobody will have to use this. 
but don't do it if you don't know what you're doing. Paper can be dangerous.